You know how when your blood boils, you feel like you just want to bust out in a sweat? You want to throw things and yell, curse, kick, and scream? You know you have been praying and meditating? babes it's your girl joy back with another banger i just made it into work and i want to say happy vlogmas day 10 we are in double digits baby we're in double digits i'm almost there almost there well i just got into school i think we're gonna do a review i think that's what i'm doing today so i have to get my thoughts together child i was up grading papers last night putting grades in so now i need to dot all my i's cross all my t's before i load my grades because honey they will be on you like white on rice emailing calling with when are you gonna post when are you gonna post they don't play so of course i came in and found my poster on the floor for my truisms so this is i gotta i have to put this back I have to put better tape. Sorry. Sorry, I gotta put better tape. So I worked with it a little bit. Now I'm gonna put the little things on. Now I'm gonna have some of my students do it. I'm not gonna do it. And I had to do a little more of the shading and stuff. So I went in and I added my little drip lines. My little drip, drip, drop, drip, drops. I have to change my change my dates I write on my door since we are not allowed to hang anything on our door I usually um, write on the door every day and if there's something to draw I'll draw so but I believe the kids are taking their finals tomorrow and Wednesday so I kind of want to proceed. I try to help them out. So I'm getting ready to print out the final. And I won't read the passage. But, I, you know, if there's a term that they need to know, like, I don't know, infer, uh, conclude, what can you deduce, those are all terms that they'll see on their state standardized test. So I kind of want those words to be in their face all the time. So when they come across that word, they know what it is. So, you know, I'll, you know, I'll go over and review terminology, but not the test or if something is worded weirdly, then we'll discuss that in a, in an indirect kind of way. So I try to help them as much as I can. Um, they're not all receptive to that help, but you know, it is what it is. As they say, you can lead a horse to water. I gotta turn my lights on with my remote control. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink it. And once again, thank you all for watching the videos and hanging with your girl, even though you know I talk too much. So I'm about to put this video down, put this camera down, cause you know I'll start talking. But anyway. OOTD is OOTD time. OOTD time. OOTD. Can y'all say that real fast? 20 times? 20 times. Not 5, not 10, not 15, 20. 20. OOTD. <laughs> Out for the day. I was not, I didn't feel like dressing up. So um, I'm very, very dry today. Very dry. Nothing exciting, nothing cute, but this is just what I have on. So this is, um, you know, the colors are just like army colors or whatever. And I didn't, I just, this is just how I felt. I didn't really feel like, and it's a little jacket, drawstrings at the waist, so cinch it at the waist a little bit, has a little hood. And that's it, my chucks, I gotta get me some more chucks. I wanna get lots of colors, but I don't know, I just never have extra to be treating myself like that. So and that's it, guys. You know, if I had a red sweater, maybe I would have put a red sweater on. I don't, like, red is not my thing. 
it's just not my color so just black just very plain very very dry today <laughs> but this high five sometimes i just want to be comfortable and let me tell you if i didn't have this belt on with these pants they would slide right down <laughs> So I just want to feel comfy, just comfy, cozy, comfy, cozy. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here and get started, get my wrap my brain around what I'm going to do today. And that's why sometimes I'm thankful I have first period off because I have to get my life in the morning. You know, it would be very, very hard if I had a first period class. <laughs> I need to get my life, honey. Yes. All right, guys, hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching this video. Um, and thank you for everyone who sent me stuff in the mail for my mail haul, subscriber haul. I really appreciate it. And um, I'm going to get out of here. I might be back. I might not. So we'll see how it goes. Until next time. Later. Lord Jesus. You know, I just got home. And... The drive home, then I had to pick up Bobby, then I had to wait for Bobby, then I had to go to Walmart. Walmart didn't go as planned. Then I come home, my nerves on 10. I had to come take a time out in my closet. In my closet. Oh. This is juice, y'all. I put it in a martini glass, make me feel like I'm drinking adult beverage. <coughs> My nerves. But baby, this is where I have to take my time out. Remember, I ain't talking about certain things anymore. I'm not talking about it anymore. I, I just can't my nerves you know how when your blood boils you feel like you just want to bust out in the sweat you want to throw things and yell curse kick and scream you know you have been praying and meditating hey hey i hear them let me close the door all the way girl you act like i don't see your foot right there what you want bobby you bring the computer on Huh? You bring your computer home? It's on your bed. What you doing in your closet? Because I'm having to be a timeout moment. You mind? Do you mind? I can't even hide out in my closet. They will find me wherever I am. I'm telling y'all, I am telling you, the testimony is going to be real. When that testimony is going to happen, I don't know. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. I can't even, you see, live and in action, I can't even hide in my closet. I do not stage any of this stuff that goes on in my life. Sometimes I will say it's so unbelievable. People wouldn't believe my life. It's, it's just like, does it only happen to me? And you know what? I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it until I have the complete full 180 degree testimony. And I had to kind of do the same thing when I got this place to live. I gave a full, complete testimony when I lost the house. I went through the process. It, I went through it for a long time. The stress that process caused me, you have no idea. The thoughts swimming in my head, you have... Child, hold on a minute. Calm down. You have no idea. This new testimony, well, it's kind of the same testimony... But it's like, I feel like I jump over a hump and then I'm back into some uh, puddle of mud. It's like, it's, does it, I'm like, what? The, why me? Why? Lord Jesus. 
And you know I ain't crying. I got to go to work tomorrow. Ain't no sense in crying, child. I got to go to work tomorrow. Oh, God. I told y'all this juice. <laughs> but, child... wait for the testimony just just hold on with me y'all and like i said if i'm not posting no drama it seems like the views get lower and lower well here's some drama for your mama okay child i had to take me a time out get my mind right time out in my closet clint what did you do all day there's other stuff that goes along with that. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing because y'all won't come for a sister. I did make some calls today. Lo and behold, they said it may take 14 days. I'm like, oh, can we expedite this? So I have to wait, folks. There's nothing I can do right now besides wait. I put in the calls. I left the messages. I did my part. I may even take me a day off next week to take somebody down to get their ID. I was so tired one day, I said, let's go. Is Reese back in town? Because we need to go get your ID. Oh, shoot. I had to make a call today. They had me, like I said, I only get 30 minutes for lunch. By the time I get all the kids out, I straighten up my room, put hand sanitizer on my hands, I'm down to 25 minutes. Then I... Had to take time, look for the number to make a call today. A different call. They had me a hold for about 18 minutes. I only, literally, I swear to God, I had about eight minutes to eat my lunch. I ran to the microwave, heated up my lunch, which wasn't much. Heated up my lunch, woofed it down. All I had time was take a, 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 a sip of my water. In my fancy cup, thank y'all very much. A sip of my water, check my teeth in the mirror because I always smile at every baby that comes in my room. I smile at every last one, even though no one picked up that call. I needed someone to pick up that call because now that has stressed me out. Now I'm under more stress. More stress, I thought I just got over some stress. Now I'm back in some stress. So, I had to hang up that call. So now this is a dangling participle that I can't deal with until tomorrow. But when I got to deal with it tomorrow at lunchtime again, because I don't have time. Maybe they, uh, I'll be able to do it in the morning. I'm not sure. I have duty tomorrow. My duty day is Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I have to be at my duty location by 8 a.m. And if I'm there at 8 one I'm going to get a nasty email. So I got to be on time. I can't be on CP time because CP time is going to get me in trouble. So I got to be on <laughs> the other people's time when I'm on duty. Some days I'm running down before 7.59, before 8 o'clock strikes. But, Haunty, they will send you a nasty email. You better be on time because, you know, that school boss leaves at a quarter to nine, A, B. You know, we played double dish back in the day. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> Cleanse downstairs. The laundry people did not come. Not the laundry people. The wash machine people did not come today. I have clothes to wash. Bobby has clothes to wash. Sydney has clothes to wash. We all have clothes to wash. I remember when I first got my other house, we had problems with the wash machine. For those of my rotted eyes, you know, I don't know if I have any rotted eyes from about two years ago, year and a half, when I had problems with cons in my brand new washing machine cons that was terrible customer service child terrible i don't know if i have any rotted eyes from way back in the day so let let this be known you're not getting no box opening today because i had to come in this closet and get my nerves right it's rough y'all it's rough 
some one of my subscribers she's so pretty she is so pretty she was like you have the prettiest teeth i was like thank you <laughs> see my gap i have a gap y'all it will open up if i do not wear my retainer i'll use armor ham and bacon soda toothpaste and once in the blue moon i will use baking soda on my teeth um, I do wear a retainer. I had two sets of braces. I have lots of fillings from back in the day. My fillings are silver. There's no way to swap the fillings out. I've asked. They said no. So, therefore, you'll see um, dark fillings in my mouth. The, the composite fillings will not outlast the silver fillings. So, I am self-conscious about my fillings. If people have something to say about my teeth. I will pop my retainer in tonight. I will pop my retainer in tomorrow the gap will close back up. I have a hereditary gap that if I do not wear a retainer, it will open back up. But thank you. I do love my front teeth. Child, if something happened to my front teeth, I will be dead. <laughs> dead, dead. <laughs> and I think that's one of my better assets is my smile. Anyway, the stress is real, child. But let me tell you, that testimony, hunty, hunty, I need to take a few screenshots. It is terrible, y'all. Terrible. It's terrible. You know what somebody else said? And I know this is kind of turning long. The, oh, well, y'all used to me running my mouth anyway. Don't watch. Click off. That's what you do. <laughs> I guess y'all already clicking off because the last video the views are real low anyway. So it really doesn't matter. But for my riding eyes who love me, I'm here for you. I'm here for you, boo. I'm going to focus on the ones who are here. Somebody was like, only one person. And honey, if there's drama, I'll get thousands of views, thousands of views. But I'm, I'm, this, this is the holiday time, okay? It's the holiday time, so sis, what? So somebody was like, you living above your means. You live above your means, um, A, am I living above my means? I want to provide a nice house for my kids. I live in the area where I live in. They have a great school district. I have two more years to go. I have this hustle and grind for two more years. I'm not going to uproot my kids and take them to a, a I don't know the words to say. I'm not going to take them out of their school. I will struggle for the next two years and get another job because the stress is too much for me. I have to figure out there's some online jobs I could do so I'm going to figure all that stuff out during the Christmas break where I could just focus on that I will do that during Christmas break I have the process um, things in the process for Clinton because I'm like you can help with the bill I'm not talking about help. scratch that pretend like I didn't say that okay because y'all boop 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 scratch it so um, I'm not going to move my kids. I'll, I'll deal with the struggle and the grind for the next two years. I'm not going to, you know, move my kids in a less desirable area. Mm -mm. I'll, I'll make it work for the next two years. Hey, I survived this long, honey. I'm like a roach. I'll keep coming back, boo. What? What? Let me tell you, roaches survive <laughs> so much stuff. Call me the roach survivor. That's what you call me, which we do not have any roaches here. <laughs> Come back stronger. No, come back broke down, but know how to survive and get back up and put a little more mascara and concealer under my eyes. I still don't have any uh, foundation. I'm going to get me some one of these days, y'all. Anyway, I know this is turning long, but no. They was like, oh, maybe you, only one person. And sometimes one person can say something, give me something to talk about. Um, So, no, I'm not willing to sacrifice um, the quality of my kids' education because I want to move to a less desirable area. No, this is where we've been. This is where they've done um, intermediate school, middle school, high school. Bobby has one more year to go. Sydney has two. Why would I uproot my kids? Why would I do that? Look, I done struggled and survived this long. I'm the roach. No, let me rephrase that. I'm a phoenix, honey. I'm a phoenix. What? I will come back. <laughs> That's going to be my next tattoo. I know I'm kind of old for tattoos, but so what? You only live once when I get extra coins. I'll get me a nice Phoenix tattoo. I would love to do my whole back. 
I would love to do that. But anyway, and, I, oh, and I've always wanted a sleeve. How many tattoos do I have? I have one, two, three. One, two, three. I have three tattoos. One is really big. And see, that's why I'm probably, I probably like low rise pants. My girls like high rise pants because my tattoos are around my waist. And I love that tattoo. I would love to expand on that tattoo, but I would love a phoenix to cover my entire back. So, anyway, I just came on here to rant. I ain't come on here for nothing. I just need to take me a time out and chit chat with y'all. I'm in my closet. I'm in my closet. Y'all know I already did the tour, the closet tour with y'all. Y'all see up in my closet, y'all. And I got up this morning. I did my ab exercises. I did not run. I will run tomorrow. I did my meditation. I did my prayer. I prayed for everybody. I prayed for you. I prayed for financial abundance. Yes, I did. Lord Jesus, 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 Jesus. <laughs> And then at the end of the day, um, one of my students, he's he's like my shadow. <laughs> he loves Miss Basil and his mom comes late. And I'll, I don't I typically don't leave school before five because I just sit in traffic. And then um, he, I was like, would you? So I left. He was like, I'm gonna come with you. I said, calm down. I will be right back. And I was trying to talk to make it an important phone call. I was like, I will be right back. Just wait here. <laughs> and then I came back. I say, oh, and as soon as I walked in back into my classroom, he turned his music off. I was like, so what? You listening to inappropriate music in my class? He was like, no, ma'am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, Miss Basil. I said, yes, you are. I heard curse words. He said, no, you didn't. He said, I said, what, you, what were you listening to? Gospel rap? He was like, no. He said, but I do listen to gospel rap. And he turned on one of his remix gospel songs. And I've heard it before. Um, never would have made it. And it was never would have made it. And they turned into a hip hop as a remix. So I got to do that one, y'all. And when I was like, yeah, uh-huh, get it. So both of us, <laughs> both of us um, having a good time to the never would have made it. I mean, he was tickled pink. I bet he would have never thought he would be doing that with one of his teachers, child. It was the funniest thing ever. We were getting, I was like, get it, yeah, a. Hey. Hey, <laughs> child, you done stuck with the wrong teacher. <laughs> but we had a good old time for a few seconds. And I was like, <clears throat> can you get back to your work, son? Get back to work, please. <laughs> so, but I, I need to do something with that song. The remix song never would have made it. But someday, child, I know I, I, I would never make it without him. But Lord Jesus, trying to get through the storm is, ooh. It's like when you live in it, it's terrible. But our child, I'm waiting for that testimony. Just like I was patient and I waited for that testimony with this when I got this place. Um, I did a video on that. If you did not see that video, I'll attach it in the description box below. That was a great video. I did not make any money off that video because I used... Um, god will provide i used that song in my video and it wasn't about the money it was about my testimony and um i got i didn't get a strike against me but it was a copyright strike but it wasn't a strike against me so the money that whatever was made off that video went to whoever so but um that video did pretty well a lot of people shared that video um and it got, it was, it was, the views were okay for my channel. For my size channel, the views were okay. But once again, it wasn't about the money. It was about my message and my testimony. Some of my videos, I don't care about ads and stuff. I don't care at all. And I personally did not put any ads on that. Um, I lost everything video. It was called I Lost Everything. <clears throat> and I felt like I lost everything. But um, the people who, I don't know, get the money from the ads they put those ads on our video i did not put them on that video but um i'm waiting for that next testimony and i have to get my screenshots and i'm just going to be patient and i'm going to wait because things don't always happen when you want them to happen they happen in his timing so i'm just waiting y'all oh lord i've been on here 20 minutes oh my gosh let me get out of here you guys will get the the, the uh mail hole another day maybe i'll say that one for tomorrow 
but this one this video just went sideways honey but this is how i was feeling when i came home this is how i was feeling this is what i was feeling so i'll see i'm supposed to eat a hamburger on for my other channel i'll see y'all give this video a thumbs up like comment share subscribe or or don't <laughs> all right guys until next time later